having met our semi-finalists, it is time now to get to know them a little better. They don't know what I'm going to ask them, and if 20 years on this show has taught me anything, it has taught me that I have no idea what kind of answers I might get. While I talk with each contestant, the judges will be giving her a score based not only on the content of the interview, but also on her charm and personality. Each young woman has been advised that if she desires, an interpreter is available from Professional Translating Services Incorporated. Again, only our home audience will see the average score our judges give each contestant. And first, I am going to talk with Miss Brazil. Miss Brazil is going to use an interpreter. Her name is Daisy de Sosa. She's 18. She lives in Porto Alegre, and she attends college. And ask her, please, what she plans to do when she finishes college. O que é o que você quiser fazer depois de terminar a universidade? Bem, depois de terminar a universidade, eu pretendo continuar minha carreira de modelo manequim profissional e me tornar uma grande modelo internacional. É um grande sonho. After I uh, finish my college, I would like to go back to professional modeling and uh, become an international professional model. Now, if she should become Miss Universe, of course, she's going to live in Hollywood for a year. I ask her if she thinks she would like that. Se você é eleita Miss Universo, você tem que viver, morar no Hollywood. Você quiser uh, morar lá? Sim, para mim é um grande sonho conhecer Hollywood. Para mim está sendo um sonho estar aqui no Miss Universo. Estou me sentindo bastante bem. Estou me sentindo bastante feliz aqui. Yes, for me it has always been a dream to uh, see Hollywood, to live there, and especially to become Miss Universe. So I would love it. That's fine. Now, uh, in in uh, Los Angeles, there's no rapid transit. Everyone drives. Ask her if she drives an automobile. Você guia uma auto? Sim. Does she have a license? Yeah. Uh, você tem permesso para guiar? Não, eu tenho que tirar a carteira ainda. No license? No, I don't have it yet. She. <laughs> she's going to fit in perfectly on the Los Angeles freeways. Believe me. Thank you, Miss Brazil. <laughs> Miss Colombia, who will also have an interpreter. She is Maria Monica Urbina, 18. She lives in Bogota, and she is a recent high school graduate, and she just finished high school. Ask her, please, what her plans are for the future. Acaba de terminar bachillerato. ¿Qué planes tiene para el futuro? Bueno, pienso seguir estudiando diseño textil eh, el año entrante. Pienso irme para Italia a seguir con mi carrera, ya que es mi ma eh, mayor anhelo. Well, I plan to finish my career. I'm studying uh, textile design. I want to go to Italy because that is my uh, dearest wish. Now, she has just crossed the border to be here with us tonight. Ask her if she's traveled much. Acaba de cruzar la frontera para estar aquí con nosotros esta noche. ¿Ha usted viajado mucho? Sí, he recorrido muchas partes del mundo. Para mí es un placer estar viajando. Me encanta. Y me gusta conocer muchas culturas, diferentes tipos de, de personas y de pensar. Yes, I've uh, traveled all over the world. I love to do that. I love to learn about uh, new cultures, meet new peoples, and find out about uh, new ideas. Now, she's met men in Europe. She's met men in the United States. And of course, she knows Latin men. Ask her which she prefers. Ha conocido usted hombres en Europa, en Estados Unidos, y por supuesto conoce a los latinos. ¿Cuáles prefiere? Una pregunta comprometedora, pero... Yo diría que todos tienen en sí, en su raza, su, tiene su estilo. Yo diría que cualquiera que pueda compartir conmigo los momentos más agradables de mi vida. Does this reaction mean that the Latins get her vote? <laughs> That's a very compromising question, but I believe that every race, every uh, nationality has their own style, and I believe that uh, anyone would be able to share the best lives of my life, the best moments of my life with me. Fine. Thank you, Miss Columbia. <laughs> And now Miss Puerto Rico, she is Elizabeth Robinson. She's 20, and she attends the University of Puerto Rico. And Elizabeth, you are the first contestant who speaks English. Where did you learn to speak English? 
in the United States. I used to live there as a young girl, and I was also born there. You were born in the United States? Well, they do speak English there. No yes, wonder you they speak do, English. in Virginia. And you, uh, you, I met your father, I think, out by the pool, and he is in the Navy, or was in the Navy. He was in the Navy, stationed there. And that's where you were born? That's where I was now born. Now you're at the University of uh, Puerto Rico studying what? I am studying computer engineering, and I would like to become an astronaut someday. Very good. Now, I read in your bio that when you became Miss Puerto Rico that you won an automobile. Is that exciting? That was very exciting, but I had a very interesting experience with that. It was robbed from me a month after they gave it to me, so <laughs> that wasn't very nice. Your car was stolen? Yes, it was. Did the police get it back for you? No, they didn't, but the car dealer was very nice, and he got me an identical car again. So you still have an automobile? Yes, I then do. Then if you become Miss Universe, you won't need the one that we would have given you. Oh, oh I will, too. You, you'll take that one, too. Well, what will I use in Los Angeles? That's right. You do need one I there. I will need a car, yeah. You have a license? Yes, I do. You can help Miss Brazil around that. I can. Thank you. You can be sure of that. All right. Thank you. Miss USA is Christy Fitchner. She's 23. She lives in Dallas. And she attended Southern Methodist University. And on May 20th, I crowned you Miss USA. And have they kept you busy since then? Yes, very busy. I've been mainly traveling for the sponsors of the Miss USA pageant. And I had the wonderful opportunity of spending two weeks uh, entertaining our servicemen and women in the Mediterranean and in, outside of London on a USO tour. Now, after the pageant on uh, May 20th, I was told that your own grandmother bet against you in the pageant. Is that right? Yes, it is. I have a very superstitious grandmother. She's 80. As a matter of fact, my other grandmother, who's 86, is here also. And uh, she, she is superstitious. She has us all eat black-eyed peas on the first day of the new year for good luck. It's a Texas tradition. And also, she made a bet against me thinking that if she bet for me, it might jinx my chances. So she bet uh, some money against me, and she lost the money, and she made the same bet again here for she's, good luck. She, she's here, and she's bet against you again. Yes, she and has. if she loses again, she'll have to go to the casinos to recoup. <laughs> she loves the casinos. Thank you, Miss USA. Thank you very much. Miss Dyer, would you step out here to me? And she will have an interpreter as well. Her name is Ami Nikobi. She's 22. She lives in Kinshasa, and she is a college student studying literature. And ask her what she wants to do when she gets out of school. Will you please? Que voulez-vous faire après l'école? Après l'école, je veux faire du mannequin. After school, I'd like to model. Yes, now, in her bio, she told uh, us that, that one of her hobbies is cooking. And I would imagine that there are many women watching our show who'd like to know of some favorite dish in Zaire. Would you ask her? Uh, dans votre biographie, vous avez dit que vous aimez bien faire la cuisine. Uh, Voulez-vous nous parler ou nous mentionner un plat uh, typique du Zaire? Oui, merci. Uh, chez nous, au Zaire, on mange beaucoup. On mange surtout le feuille de manioc et uh, le, le manioc, le... Le, la farine de manioc préparée à part et puis euh, le feuille de manioc préparé avec euh, on met euh, on met quelque chose dont on met du poisson on mélange un peu euh, beaucoup de choses et puis euh, on va manger en, en, ensemble avec euh, avec euh, le, le farine de manioc I think that was a six course dinner wasn't it what, uh, what was that uh, at uh, in Zaire we uh, love uh, to make a meal out of manioco, and we add to this meal made of manioco a great deal of uh, other things, such as fish and uh, so forth. We do love manioco very much. Manioco. Do you, does she have brothers and sisters? Tu as des frères et des sœurs? Oui, nous sommes 15 dans la famille. Dans notre famille, nous sommes 15. Yes, there are 15 of us in our family. 15? 15? 15? 15. Mucho manioco. Huh? <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Zaire. <laughs> now we have a
have heard from five of our semi-finalists, and we'll be talking with the other five in just a few moments.